Because George goes to the zoo. This is George. George was a little monkey and always very curious. Today George was feeling excited. The man with the yellow, he was taken to the zoo. As he drove, a man explained to George it wasn't a very zoo that was going to visit. It was called Wild Animal Park. All the animals roam around freely. When they arrived, George saw a huge banner. George looked at it and put up and could not hear the words. Babe Rhino's first birthday. A friendly zoo explained it's an extra special day here in the Wild Animal Park. It's our baby rhino's first birthday. We're going to have a party right here later on. The party was going on a wonderful trip to the zoo. I tried to walk into the park where the animals were, but the zookeeper stopped him. We can't walk in here. To explore the zoo, we have to ride one of the special cars. She pointed to a huge car that had no roof on it. Oh my, what fun it has to going to be. George and friend climbed on board with the car drove in the park. I didn't see what I missed at the wild animal park. Let's look over there, said the zookeeper. There's our pile of vines. We have the large family here. George pointed to the other direction, said George, said the zookeeper. I see the giraffes too. They're all tall and nest. They even eat those treetops and there are two orchards running this way. George was happy to see so many amazing animals. Zoom car passed past a small pond, pink flamingos bathing in the water, and their heads bob up and down, walking on silly legs. The thing was turned pink. Because it eats so many tiny pink shrimp, the zoo keeper George was not listening. He had very flamingos before. He was curious about how the flamingos were moving. He learned about the back of the zoos. He could take a look back then know what happened. First, George lost his balance. Then he fell. Kerplunk. Right on the zoo car. His friend noticed that he had fallen. George ran quickly as a little monkey towards the pond. The flamingos bobbed up their heads, lifted their feet up to one time. They could not look dancing. George danced with them. Suddenly, the water pound started to move. Then a hippo popped his head up out of the water, too. What a surprise. George stopped dancing to take a look. The hippo opened his huge mouth. They were yawning. George opened his mouth by two. It finally looked like a hippo. Then George noticed that something was rustling the reeds near the pond. George was curious. He wanted to see what was there. In an instant, he jumped over the reeds. He poked his nose inside and saw a baby rhino. A tiny rhino was cute, but he should look a little sad, a bit lonely. George wanted to make that baby rhino feel happy again. He thought about maybe baby rhino would feel like a flamingo dance. He jumped and bobbed his head and danced it up and down. The baby rhino peeked up there and the reeds were so cloud and watched George dance and more rhino walked in the reeds. They were having so much fun that George didn't notice that there was behind him. The keeper stomped over to George, did not look happy. The man with a yellow hat was running behind her. You are a naughty little monkey. So keeper, you are supposed to stay in the car. You and your friend have to go now. And George walked to the man's side. He waved goodbye to the baby rhino. The man's keeper turned and saw George was waving too. The baby rhino and we were looking at the all day. She got separated with her mother. George was glad to see the zookeeper. Looking happy again, he and the man started walking toward the exit. Zookeeper ran toward him. Thank you for riding the baby rhino. George ran his first time birthday. Going to the happy cake. George jumped with glee. He had forgotten about the party and he didn't love cake. The man followed Zookeeper and the baby ran back to headquarters. The rhino's mother was waiting for her. For her. The zookeeper brought out a special birthday cake and it was shaped like a rhino. George never saw a cake like that before. He had been in first place. George, the zookeeper, also had a special treat just for you. She placed a bunch of bananas in front of him. George was very happy. Have a tasty banana, but it saved room for some cake too.